The sun is just coming up in Little Italy, but on this Wednesday morning, Assemblyman Nathan Fletcher is already hard at work. Fletcher is a devotee of CrossFit, a demanding workout that focuses on stretching, weightlifting, and shorter, intense bursts of cardio. Fletcher tries to make it four days a week. The married father of two boys says he'll often give up an hour of sleep to get in a good workout. For me, I find my mental health and my physical health are really closely aligned. And so I, I, it's a great stress relief. Uh, I have more energy during the day. I, I feel better. I also uh, I like the competitive nature of this workout. Fletcher goes through his workout with a focused concentration. It's the same concentration he'll need to bring to the mayor's race if he wants to come out on top. Fletcher faces competitors who have high name recognition. And while he shares his name with San Diego's wealthy Fletcher family, he's not related to them. His opponents are also steeped in local politics. But Fletcher has spent his time in office in Sacramento, where state issues rule the day. He was first elected to the assembly in 2008. Prior to his election, the 35-year-old spent 10 years in the Marines, including a tour in the Sunni Triangle region of Iraq. Fletcher is the youngest major candidate in the race. Still, he doesn't see himself as a newbie. I think our experience is our greatest asset. Uh, I, I've led men in combat. Uh, we, we've literally made life and death decisions under direct enemy fire. We've demonstrated the ability to, to, to lead in challenging and difficult environments. Uh, and more importantly, we've demonstrated an ability to tackle and grasp complex, difficult issues, build those coalitions that are necessary uh, to achieve important things. Fletcher often cites his ability to work across party lines, and several pieces of legislation have made him better known in San Diego, though for different reasons. Perhaps his most high-profile bill was Chelsea's Law, which increases penalties for violent sex offenders. It was named after Chelsea King, who was raped and murdered by a sex offender in Rancho Bernardo in 2010. Fletcher says King's parents approached him about authoring the legislation, which passed unanimously in both the state assembly and Senate. I-65, no zero, measure passes. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger signed it into law. It was a different bill that brought Fletcher more critical attention. In October 2010, Fletcher authored a state bill that allowed more tax money to be diverted for downtown San Diego redevelopment. The city council had begun considering the issue on its own, and some members blasted Fletcher for swooping in. But Fletcher makes no apologies for the bill. If I have the opportunity to go and get billions of dollars for infrastructure, which is crumbling, provide more money for our city, more money for our school, and let San Diegans keep more of their money in a way that there will be a full debate on how it's spent, I'll do it every single day. Despite that rocky entry into local San Diego politics, Fletcher stresses he's the man to guide the city into a new political era. And our city has really been through an awful decade. Uh, it's a period of time that was really defined as Enron by the sea. Uh, and I think that this election offers us an opportunity to, to close that chapter on San Diego and really open a new one about what is the city that we want to bring. Uh, but that does require uh, a new mayor. It requires a new vision and a new energy, uh, a new generation of leadership. And Fletcher is weighing in on hot local topics as well. He supports the pension reform measure that would replace pensions with 401ks for most new city hires. He wants to streamline city hall bureaucracy to make it easier to fix San Diego's aging infrastructure. And he says city government should be more involved with local schools, which he calls an economic and moral issue. Fletcher says local businesses are telling him they need a better skilled workforce. I was in a meeting with a group of executives at Qualcomm. He said, we have hundreds of jobs open today. And we have thousands of applicants, and none of the applicants have the skills for the jobs of today. And so I, I think what we really need to drive, if, if we want to be the economic base of the future, we got to have the education system of the future. Fletcher isn't concerned about polls that have shown him trailing his three main rivals. He says there's a clear difference between him and the other candidates, and he's ready for the race.